Welcome back to the Salona Beach Sponges. Coach Philip Rivers cannot be more pleased with the turnaround the Sponges have made in year two. From 0 in 12, the Sponges have already secured three wins and are three and three. They just have to win three more games to become bowl eligible. And this is only their second year in existence in the FBS. The freshmen on this team are having a greater impact than anyone initially anticipated. In fact, we have two quarterbacks that are 1A and 1B for the job. Brandon Moore has shown flashes of greatness, but Adam Allen is no pushover and has come up close in his cleanup role. Willie Markhart and Shane Dorsey, two freshman defensive ends, are leading the team in sacks with four and three respectively. And Donnie Turner has done enough with the rock to keep the chains moving. No one is absolutely padding the stat sheet so far, but the team is more efficient than ever before. The upward ascent can be noticed in the recruiting class as well. This year is already shaping up to be better than the last. More high quality three-star prospects are choosing Salona Beach as their school of choice. So who's going to become the next sponge superstar? Find out in this video video as we march toward the end of year two and get set up for year three. Why not start the episode out with a bang? The battle for San Diego comes to Salona Beach this year. And if you saw last year's battle for San Diego, it was a movie. If it gets anywhere near like last year, this is going to be crazy. The battle for San Diego just means so much more in this game. San Diego State wants to win a natty themselves, but Salona Beach just wants to do it quicker. San Diego State off to a two and three start. We're going to come out with the bench, hit Brent Martin. That's a good play to get this game going. Second inches, we're gonna just run a triple option here and I got stuffed. Let's give that play a second try. I think we can make it work and absolute terrible decision and meltdown here on the first drive. Think I'm gonna stay away from the triple option. Hey, what's a rivalry without a little bit of suspense? a boy, Brent. Making a move. What a filthy play. Nothing like getting jiggy with it and breaking some ankles along the way. Rock, what you got for me? I tried warning you all in episode one that Brent and Rock are two big pieces of this offense. And you know who else is pretty big? This freshman running back, Turner. First and 10, running straight ahead. Some power football here. What a bounce back drive we are putting together after a costly fumble. First and goal, no problem. Back to Turner, he just plunges in for six. Third and short, Aztecs looking for a quick slant. They got their man. It's literally crucial we step up the defense on this round because that last game last year was brutal. Third and seven, gonna hit the curl there. That's Brent once more. Can he break free? 12 yards will do. Second and 10, let's just plunge it up the middle. Turner with some space. Third and short, this slant means a lot. We got it. Let's run the read option because Brandon Moore is a dual threat athlete. Third and one, back to the well we go with the curl. Brembry's there and given one of his infamous trucks. This time the truck didn't absolutely obliterate the guy, but it did its job. And we're gonna go over the top. Rock Boston, underthrown, coffee with the pick. Two minute drill action here. Gonna go outside. We got a man, that's King hauling that in. Just under a minute to go. Turner got some space. Third and 11, four verts. Why the heck not? Gonna go deep. I think we got a man. Can he connect? Brent Martin for six. Brandon Moore just dropped that into a bucket. Brandon Moore making his case to be the QB1 gunslinger. And Brent Martin stepping up as he has been the last couple seasons. Second half action and a little bit of danger here. The Aztecs are moving their way into the red zone. I forgot to mention, I think we have a handful of prospects here in attendance today watching this game. So if that's any indication, of how important this game is it's not just your rivalry game it's a rivalry game with recruiting indications i just need someone to rough someone up man let's give him a pound town nope the aztec quarterback crumb scores but he misses the extra point attempt and so that's crummy down the sideline brock's in he just got free second and 12 running the read option more just breaks free from the grasp of the Aztec. Third and short, scrambling out to our right. The pressure got immense, but this is gonna be okay because Moore is Houdini like with his legs out there. First and 10, play action. That sack came in fast. Second and 19, over the middle, Rock Boston. We just got lurked. Fourth quarter football here. Aztecs, if they can get something, that is a big loss. His buddy Willie on the other side of the line has been a menace, but we've been waiting for Alex Brown to spring into action. That makes this field goal attempt all the more difficult for the Aztecs to hit. This is about 40, 50 yards. I don't think he's got the leg nor the accuracy. That's no good. That means we can do a little bit more clock control, power O football, Turner getting a six. Second and four, dropping back. It's a handoff draw, and that's going to work extremely well almost better than I thought. Through one and a half seasons, this is Salona Beach's best running performance, and Donnie Turner is up over 100 yards. Second and two, why not slant it across the middle? Bembry 
First down, second and 12, little read option. Moore is going to keep his balance. Unfortunately, if he didn't stumble over, he would have scored. Let's dial it up again with Moore bouncing the outside. He loses his balance again. Jeez, there was a lot of room. He could have got a first down. Logically, I think you take your three points, but Phillip Rivers and the sponges are not logical. We're going to go outside, hit Brent Martin, who stays up first and goal. Like for real, why would I give the ball back to the Aztecs just so they can win it with a touchdown? Nah, I want it in my own hands. Third and goal, we're going to run the mountain triple option. Maybe this will get us exactly what we need. Moore's tumbling forward all the way down to the one. What did I say just a handful of plays ago? We're aggressive on fourth and goal. This time I'm going to be a little bit smarter. I'm going to take the clock all the way down and then snap it. And if we don't get it, well, they have the whole field to go and no timeouts. This one might be a little dumb, to be honest, because three points would be good right about now. But hand it off. <laughs> I swear, if we lose this game because of that boneheaded mistake, I'm not going to be able to live it down. What? That's even better. Let's do a little showboat. Do a little dance. Pick six. It all worked out to perfection. It was just part of the plan. Just like we had in mind on that fourth and goal. Well, all right, all right, all right. Definitely in the driver's seat now to win this ball game. First and 10, 35 seconds left. Aztecs looking to score. They're going deep. Oh man, they had us beat. Fourth and 10. This year's rivalry game comes down to this play. Who's going to host up the Surfers Cup? It's going to be us. Crumb dropped for a sack. If you are not convinced that the sponges have made a year two improvement, I don't know what to tell you. You're under a rock because we're four and three now. Our first ever victory over a rival. This one is sweet. Brent Martin gets player of the game. He stepped up in a big way. Sponge faithful starting to pack the stands a little bit more. This pick six was the nail in the coffin. He just couldn't get anything open. And Spell said, thank you, sir. Love to see a post game screen looking like this. A few commits coming to the cause. I mean, let's just take a look here. What a mid season list of recruits already coming over man there's some fresh looking four stars on the portal that we just can't recruit yet because we have that handicap reloading our board we got some more guys we can scout out brent burrell nice looking running back here let's go ahead and give brent a scholarship and max amount of points matt smith as well and lastly kyle taylor looks good too taking the fight to troy we're on the road let's give it a go four and three sponges against the three and three troy trojans i'm impressed with how the team has been playing this year definitely don't want want to lose out the rest of the year but i think if we did his job philip rivers job would be just fine let's not let this goose get loose against us we need to clamp down and uh well not much clamping happening here second and 12 cover two nice stop there by willie third and 13 another handoff it's a draw and this time it's going to work to perfection my goodness they're out in the empty set could be a design qb keeper is my thought Nope, it's a pass after all, and he's got a wide open Ross. We're going to start with the run game, get that involved early. Turner just pushing it up the middle. Trojans want to get the stop here. We want to get the first down. Something's got to give, and it goes the sponge way. Play action, Rock Boston looks so open. Just at midfield here, I'm going to scramble out, see if we can find anything. We're keeping it ourselves, and we got drill. You know, if we just slide down, we can avoid a lot of those hits. I just like to fight for the extra yard. Third and 10, split backfield. Over the middle could get open. Absolutely not. Coach Philip Rivers says go for it because we're really in no man's land. Like you can't really do much there. Turned over. Start out with this QB sprint out. See if anything goes from it. Yeah, Moore's going to get some green grass. Troy clamping us up on the air and on the ground. Just can't muster it up. It's another place on the field where it feels like going for it is an okay option. And it's going to pay off this time as McLeod works his way down the sideline. Third and 16. Wonderful. Going deep. Martin. Wow, we could have made a play if I didn't botch up that route. Eh, 35 seconds. Let's mess around and find out. Sure. As good as a punt. It's halftime. Troy's up by a touchdown. Let's get it going with a read option up the middle through and through. Nothing like pounding the stone in the read option a few times. This time, Turner is going to do his thing. Zigging in and out. If it's not Turner, it's going to be more. And this is just opening up the game so much. If they're not going to adjust, why in the world would I change anything up? Fourth play, read option in a row. Now that I got them right where I want them, I can run something different here. That sack brings us closer to midfield. We got another chance here to make something happen. And Moore is just going to keep it himself. Unfortunately, gets tracked down. Adam Allen playing some cleanup duties in this one. The quarterback goes down and that blitz just got right through. This time it's a hit pointer for Brandon Moore. So let's sub in Allen. Deal with a little bit of stress out here he's not used to the pressure 
Oh my gosh. Third and 23, the negative plays are just taking a toll, and wow, there was no separation there from the receiver. That's an easy pick. Adam, Allen, and the Sponges getting their chances, but just not finishing the job. Third and seven, dropping back. Boston, that's for you. First down. Second and 12, a little bit of play action. I think Brock Boston's got a good play here. He holds a Han. I feel like Rock Boston drops an occasional one, but for everyone he drops, he makes a couple key snags. Sorry, I forgot. No play actions here, but Rock Boston, there is that man again. When we needed the tight end most, he is stepping up for us. And I see him in the back of the end zone. We're going to find him. There's a drop. Could have tied this thing up on that one, but we're just going to hand it off. I think Cozart wants to get the job done for us anyway. It was a quick turn of events. Now back on defense. We just got to get a stop and we will not get that stop. How does he have so much space? Another third down. This one's much shorter than the last one, and Taylor gets brought down after running down our defender. What a crucial defensive stand that was. We're getting the ball back with a minute and 20 to go. All our timeouts, it's go time. Troy with seven sacks and a pick. We haven't done anything on our defense. Looks like Brandon Moore's muscled up enough strength to get out here for the final drive. Third and 10, it'd probably be wise of me. Well, I was gonna say slow the clock down just a smidge, but Nah, I'm good. We're going to keep it. Call me or Philip Rivers controversial, but we're going for it in our own territory because I have the feeling it's us or them. If I don't convert and I punted it, they have 40 seconds, three timeouts to get a field goal and win. Our defense not making any really splash plays today, but uh, we can get something here on offense. Let me turn it over. My poor decision here is going to probably haunt us. But like I said, it was the us or them thing anyway. If we couldn't convert and we would have won the game because of the conversion, that would have been huge. Finn on the defensive line has that dog in him, gets the sack, and now look, Troy is chewing Glock just as we wanted. So we'll have an OT thriller here anyway. Last time we went to OT was the battle for San Diego last year. This time is against Troy. What a crucial drop that was by their receiver. Second and 10. That's good for us. And the quarterback scrambling out. What a tackle by Willie. Got him by the shoe. Third and eight. This is a big down. He's going to go outside. He's got a man. Lewis goes all the way. Learning more and more that man coverage is not the move on third down. Maybe that will be the move once we get some guys with better man coverage. Crucial third down here. QB sprint out. See if we can get outside. We're going to cut it back up the middle because I think our legs can get that first down. Fresh set of downs and fresh set of Turner action, cutting his way in and out for a touchdown. The big Don, 21, did something for me. Double OT rolls, you know how it goes. We get the ball again because we scored and now we force another period. Let's see who's got that dog in him on double OT and Rock Boston across the middle. Do you got that dog? Yes, sir. Touchdown. Oh man. I can't redo this one in dynasty mode, but if you saw my Mars imperialism where I had 126 team play each other, in double OT, there was this glitch, this glitch right here, where they give me the ball back after scoring, and you know what happens? They give me the automatic win because they assume Troy did not score. Absolute devastation for the Troy Trojans, and I feel like I just cheated myself to this win, but there's really nothing I could have done. In imperialism, I restarted the game, and this one, well, what are you gonna do? So with that, Troy falls. Salona Beach is now five and three. Take one dub in the game and take a second dub in the recruiting portal. Two more defensive players coming our way. I so badly want Mark Coleman to come our way. The things I do to this man. Pause. Fred Simpson out of Hawaii. Now this looks like a guy surrounded by beaches we can add to the sponges. Maybe I should be looking at a geography map here because I think I've been neglecting some Alabama guys. We can start including them into the consideration. Reggie Cox is big. A big dude that is 6'3", 235, 90 speed. Not to mention 92 carry could be a top-notch running back. Falling behind in the Mark Coleman sweepstakes, he just had a great visit to Hawaii. I have been avoiding these for a little while now. Let's try out the all limes. Air Force Academy is in town. Salona Beach is the location. Absorbent Field is the site of today's play. A little rainy out here today. The Air Force Academy Falcons run this option-heavy offense. You know, low-key, the all-limes aren't as bad as I initially thought they would be. They're actually okay. Maybe they're even distracting for the opponent. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the unis. I've heard some folks express their love for the blacks, so I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Both squads are five and three, and if we can get a dub, we'll be bowl eligible. I promise I haven't touched a thing in the sliders from 
when I was 0 and 12. And these freshman replenishments are a major factor in why we win. In fact, I'd argue that there's a freshman touching the ball at every time of the game. Running the play action, got an open rock. Rock, Boston, rumbling his way to first and goal. The scariest part is that we're only a 63 overall, and we got even better recruits coming in next year. Falcons with a stingy goal line defense. It's working out for them right now, and they're going to get a stop. Phillip's not going to be uber aggressive as he usually is. He'll take his three points. Air Force into the red zone. They're driving down fast, and I don't know where Calvert was thinking he was going. Second and 17. What's it going to be? A little play action. Not a surprise. Third and six. Cover to sink. I'm on that. Should be easy for the Falcons kicker here to just get three points. Third and four. Where is this Falcons offense coming from? Broxton gets just manhandled. All right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. We're going to have to get this thing pumping and... That's pumping the wrong direction. That could have haunted us way, way worse. And we're going to go across the middle and get King involved. Third and seven, dropping back. I'm going to go deep. I felt the pressure, but Brent, can you come down for me? No. The allure of points is just too strong. I want points badly, except that ball was way too inaccurate. Thankfully, no harm, no foul. Our decision there didn't have any indication on how the game would go. In fact, it's second half football and sponges are driving. Third and three. Going outside, McLeod, hold on to it. Third and five, need a strong stand here. And that strong stand is going to come thanks to a drop. Second and 10, back to Rock Boston. Inaccurate ball. It seems like this game would look and feel so much different if we could just dial up a play that they could come down with. Rock Boston picks up our fumble and gets the first. Turner, the counter. Yikes, that was dangerous, but Turner fights hard to make that a positive play. HB sweep up the middle looks wide open. Turner gets a first down. HB lead draw. Let's see if it works. Cozart threw a man. Third and 10 on the slant. Brent comes down with it. What? I thought that was a pick for sure. Grabs it out of the defender's hands. Some of these passes, maybe it's the rain. They're just so inaccurate. Third and one. Let's stack it in Turner. We trust up the middle. Blocks couldn't hold up. Fourth and inches, decisions, decisions. And I am choosing to go for it here and now because we're so close. And I think this is our best chance. Turner got decked. I thought he had the touchdown, but he got us close enough. He'll finish it off. Rock Boston, though, you look a little open there, my friend. Lobbing that one up and over. Sponges riding high on the momentum, feeling a fresh second wave. Oh my goodness, Turner, stop it. Stop it, you're so good. Wasting no time, showing no mercy. Rock Boston, that is a picks. What am I doing? Third and nine, defense has to come up massive so we can survive and get the ball back on offense. That's why running the ball just feels so much safer in these situations. I'll take that into consideration as I'm just gonna pound the rock almost every play. I said almost every play because the bench is one of my favorites. It always just feels so crispy. With the clock ticking down, this is gonna be a heavy dosage of Cozart and Donnie. Third and inches, feed the man. Couldn't get it done. Huh? Man, oh man, oh man. More decisions. Fourth and one. I'm handing the ball off to Cozart. I'm ballsy like that. I want the win, not just a tie. And on fourth downs, it feels like Burger King because it's my way and I'm getting it. Literally going to go back to the stretch for a third time and it's open. Cozart breaks free. Bang. Soak him up. Soak him up. SBU. Kai Smallwood, show me how big that wood is. What's new? What can I say? Salona Beach victory. I'm getting used to this. This is sweet, sweet victory. We're bowl eligible now. This year two turnaround in performance by Phillip Rivers in the 63 overall sponges needs to be studied. At six and three in year two with the 63 overall squad, get ESPN and their crew to make a documentary on this. Anyways, it's a battle between two schools that know an awful lot about sea sponges, man. But are they familiar enough with the Salona beach sponge? It's a rare sponge species that will hurt you. Hawaii looking to show that they can claim and tame the beast, but the sponges want to be a thorn in their side. The trust we have in 21 and 22, we're going to hand it off on third and nine. Up the middle, looked promising for a second. Third and 10, Finn, the defensive lineman dropping back to help out on defense. That is another third down stop. First and 10, starting out with a little bit of a play action. That springs Rock Boston open. Brandon Moore in the speed option here, going to flick it out to Turner, fighting. I don't think he got it. And you know what? We're just going to halfback draw it up the middle. 
That was a bad call. Third and two, playing some defense. Cam Brown can heat seek that down. Oh, first down. Hawaii so far doing a good job protecting their home turf. It hasn't been easy. If I turned my head around and play the ball, it could have been a different story. But uh, in this case, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors driving down to the goal line. First and goal. Looks like it's going to be a handoff up the middle. Wasn't really prepped for it on defense. Easy score. Okay, looks like Hawaii wants to rain on the parade early. Unbelievable on the speed to the quarterback there. This isn't the first time nor the last time will we be down early in a game. Brandon Moore feeling pretty shaky about this third down. Gonna dump it to the running back. Kozart, lower the head, fight. Fourth and inches. Dude, how are they gonna do me like this? This is nuts, man. Just need someone to get open. Please make a play. Bembry, thank you. Hurrying it up to the line. Defense trying to catch him off guard. They're bringing in some heat. And I'm going to go up and over to Bembry. Minute 20 in this one. See if we can get the clock down and a score out of it. Once again, another big play here on third down. Through the middle. Tried to thread it through the window. Rock dropped it. Turner dislocated his wrist. He'll be back soon. That doesn't sound fun. But uh, I'm going to read the defense here. Call our guys out. They're bringing a lot of pressure here on fourth down. And I'm going to go Rock Boston. Inaccurate pass causes a turnover he was open again philip rivers is your coach and you're throwing those balls philip rivers balls would never and now we're on defense and it's looking bleak they're about to score third and seven they're hurrying it up the pressure gets to him dropped him for a big sack third and 15 they got to be careful about clock management here if they can get one out quick nope time's gonna expire and no they get the timeout off but still sacked for another big loss thankfully we avert crisis here by making some stops and that's gonna help us get right back into this ball game thanks for the pick third and one trust turner we do Another fourth and in inches that's been the story of this hawaii game and honestly not many fourth downs have gone our way in this one off my back foot like a hooligan honestly safe to say we're out of reach here if we get a big pick that's one thing but if they score again it's over he ran it in scores a touchdown this game's over didn't feel like we needed to waste much more time in this one Braden shager gave it to us and we lose big time to hawaii the sponges feel a little bit like jekyll and hyde as you might get a good performance in a dub or you might just get blown out which version of the salona beach sponges do we have in this matchup against the lobos started off with a handoff to turner got some room here muscle in our way forward i'm gonna run a midline qb iso and see what works give kozart a crack with his first carry of this game busting through second and two turner in motion it's a fake pitch jumping it out to kozart our other running back makes a nifty play and yak turner our rb1 lined up outside as a decoy it's just gonna be a handoff to kozart ground and pound working well so far in this one and these lobos are starting to sense it so let's come out with a pass our first pass of the game and drop it off to mccorder just a couple third and six getting very close to the end zone here I'm going to scramble with more, see if we get the legs to cut it back up field. The, oh, fourth and short. Phillip Rivers wastes no time down on this play. He says, read option. We're going for it. And bang, you get a scrub daddy. You get a scrub daddy. Sponges to the face. We gave up 31 points on defense to Hawaii last week. Let's not make that a habit. Second and 13, time to D up. The running back got a lane. White just fights his way for 10. Third and two. I'm bringing the blitz. No doubt about it. Cam Brown tried to get in there. Erickson gets free. All right, cool. We're done letting the Lobos have their fun, right? Who wants to make a stop? Cam Brown, get in there. Right before the first quarter ends, they get the playoff. It's an option. Hopkins takes it himself. Third and 10. I'm going to go hit the outside man there. That's McLeod. We're just short. Phillip Rivers ain't threatened. He ain't scared of no Lobo. He's going to hand it off to Turner. Up the middle fight, big man. Yes. You live and die by the aggressive play call. Brent coming back for that one. Normally, I'm a little hesitant towards slip screens, but in this case, we're going to give it a try. Yeah, see, like I said, live and die by the aggression. Let's see if it's on our side. Bang, McLeod again. Who says lightning can't strike twice? Second and seven. Rock Boston looks so open. Good catch. First and 10 on the stretch, handing it outside to Turner. He's going to pick up a few. So a win here will do big things for our squad. And more is just going to run down that sideline. You know, I feel like six wins leaves it into the bowl committee's hands, but seven is a convincing story. This time I'm calling for a slant play. Brent Martin wide open in the end zone. We take those. Fortune favors the bold. So let's 
get sacked and get out of field goal range. New Mexico gave us another chance on offense. It's now fourth and 18. I'm chewing the clock all the way down, putting our fourth down streak on the line. And honestly, that ball, if it's just more accurate, is hitting a wide open receiver. Lobo's threatening here in the second half of the game, trying to tie it up. Third and five. He's going for a big play. Gene Lewis could have come down with an interception. So here it is, fourth down, field goal attempt. That's good. Third and seven, running streaks. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, and I'm taking that shot to King. Second and six, power O, up the middle. Got a big gaping hole. First and 10, a little curl flat action. Brent Martin putting some spins, trying to get his man confused. Crunch time now, and a score here would pretty much put this one in a tough spot for the Lobos. Backwards on that last play. We need to make up for it there. And another inaccurate ball. All right, Kai, this is about as far as I let you go. 39 yards. It's up and he nailed it. Defense hold the Lobos and we get a chance to ice this one out. Third and five, handoff once more up the middle, gets around a guy, keeps his balance, stumbles forward for that 12 yard gain. Getting the Lobos to burn their timeouts in the process is a cherry on top. Second and 10, stretch to the outside. Turner just breaking free. This almost feels like a guarantee, giving it to the fullback. Up the middle, Timmons goes pounding his way for a touchdown that's the ball game sponge is coming to new mexico get the dub philip rivers has this team dialing in on so many fronts the season concludes here at home against unlv unlv's eight and three we're seven and four i guess there's potential implications here for the championship game and yeah i'll admit it feels a little silly for me to talk about championship game with a 63 overall team that is seven and four on Heisman difficulty and difficult sliders. Man, and just take a minute to soak it all in. Look at how many fans came to watch us today. This is a full circle moment. The season finale last season was vacant, man. There was no one here. What we were hoping to happen has happened. San Diegans are foregoing the beach to watch Salona Beach Sponge football. Check that off the list, and all that's left really is to bring a Mountain West championship, to bring a national championship, recruit four and five stars, get up to like 99 overall. I mean, that's all that's left. Defense clamping up early. I'm gonna use your Cam Brown here. He goes out of bounds, hurting his team's offensive momentum. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you all. I didn't expect the rebuild to go this well. I thought we would be maybe in a position like this end of year three. Second and 12, we're going to run the bench, and Brent Martin loves catching balls on the bench. Four straight passes, an interesting routine, but it's working right now. Second and three, scrambling out here with Brandon Moore. Yes, sir. The legs are dangerous. Second and 13, dropping back, looking for something great. Brent Martin, be great. And just runs right into Oliver, and all Oliver has to do is stand there and catch it like a center fielder all good there three and out gives us another crack second and ten it's my favorite play bench and brent knows when a bench is called his name will also probably be called power O handoff kozart just trying to get some blocks unfortunate loss losing turner at running back for the rest of this game off my back foot just a super inaccurate ball playing a little bit of defensive checkmate in this game right now as boston breaks through second and four speed option called brandon moore just gonna call his own name little slow to get up after that one adam allen is gonna have to come in spelling the quarterback adam allen has proven he can come in and make an immediate difference i feel like we can credit this backup quarterback to at least two wins this season but adam allen knows we could credit him with a third win is if, if he's able to lead us here moore is gonna be out for the rest of the game with a sprained wrist. Kai Smallwood misses a chip shot. A minute left before half. UNLV is cooking, trying to score. It's going outside. He's got two open receivers. Pick your choice. 38 seconds left in the half. We're down our starting quarterback and down our starting running back at this moment. And holy cow, I think I misclicked on my controller. User errors are proving costly so far in this one. So it's important for us to get our team back into scoring position. I really don't want to disappoint the fans here on the home closer. But shoot, what team is showing up today? Is it Jekyll? Is it Hyde? Who is going to be here? That was a nifty scramble drill second and 10 i'm gonna hit the outside man here and missed him by a country mile that brings up third and 10 just nothing feeling a bit of the pressure we're gonna have to go for it here on fourth down and i see brent martin great 
catch and first down. Thankfully, we converted and now we can get back to work here in the red zone. Third and four, play action. It's a power O. I see a few options, but the main options back here, it's McLeod. Toe tap and six. Adam to McLeod, love to see it. Now it's third down for the defense and we just have to get this stop and get the ball back in our hands. Another big chance for us here on third down, running the cover one. He's going over the middle, Pauling, big pick. Yes, sir. Let's get some good position here on the field, taking it back like a champ. What's that? Do you feel that? Cause I can feel it coming in the air tonight. The sponges are trying to get as soaked as possible and this halfback draw is gonna get extra squishy. Okay, we need to take to the sky and we're gonna do just that. McLeod gets us right down to the one, fourth and one, I should say. And you already know, Philip Rivers wasting no time. We're going for it, it's fourth down. Let's get this extra yard here. Cozart up the middle, that's all we needed. Fourth quarter action, starting off with some curl flats. It's Brent and he's gonna get a first down. Dropping back is Allen once more across the middle, looks open, that's McHorter. Sponge faithful on their feet. They can barely hold the suspense. Out of bounds, wow. All right, you know what? We'll give a chance for Kai Smallwood to get his wood on this one, and he nails it. That leaves it on the defense's shoulders to make a big play, and that slip screen, man, it kinda is working. Can we track him down? It worked oh too well. Third and nine, let's watch out for any more trickery as they're gonna chew the clock down, look for a man. Dump Dumping it to the running back. We held him. The field goal helped us last drive, but now it's a must win scenario where we have to score and win. Field goals won't do. Second and 11, just under a minute to go. I'm gonna go across the middle. I played that well. This one's called the smash HB check. I'm gonna check it. We're gonna go outside deflected boy oh boy a field goal won't save us now fourth down read option i'm gonna keep it with allen he's gonna go up the middle what a brilliant play call clock winding down we hurry back to the line another read option inbound another keeper by allen and he fumbles and that is gonna be the ball game oh man that's a heartbreaker closing out the season with an opponent getting three forced fumbles on us that just can't happen conference championship week the salona beach sponges finish third in the west Seven and five record, five and three in conference play. How about that, critics that put us dead last? Winning the West was UNLV after all. On the mountainside, Boise State, Wyoming, and Air Force were the three clear favorites, and Boise State won the mountain with a six and two conference play. West and Mountain combined, we finished fifth. Wow. That's pretty good. Carson Beck wins the Heisman, congrats. We are headed to Jimmy Kimmel's LA Bowl right here in Cali, so that's a bit of an advantage. Well, we got to our first bowl game, but we need to win the bowl game to unlock the rest of the recruiting conditions. Washington is gonna be a handful, seventh best offense in the nation, second in yards per game, first in passing per game. A good offense will still expose our 63 overall defense. But it's time for the Jimmy Kimmel Bowl, Washington Huskies, sponges, all white. Here we go. It's bowl season and let's have some fun with it. The sponges are heavily the, at a disadvantage here. Like they're minus 24 point underdogs. And to me, that's all the more reason to feel less pressure and just to leave it out there. Second and seven, dropping back. We're gonna hit the man down the sideline. That's Brent Martin breaking free from a couple tackles. Second and four, we're gonna sprint out once again, dropping it off to Brent. He is gonna break free. Second and seven, dropping back. Gonna hit the outside there, he was open. It's an absolute must to limit mistakes when you're going up against the Huskies. And we got wide open Cozart. Just take your time with it. No one expected the sponges to be here after going winless last season. Everyone counted him out. But Philip Rivers, with his job on the line, doubled down and said, no, I like these guys. And even if you're inaccurate, I'm going to be patient with you. Because now we've missed two opportunities to score six. And, uh, you know, patience is a virtue, they say. I'm going to choose to draw first blood and let Kai do his thing. Thank you, sir. Now, this is what I'm most worried about a 90 overall offense, one of the best in the nation, second in yards per game. I honestly don't know. We just need everyone to step up here on defense because it's gonna be really hard to stop these guys. Like, look at that, shrugs off a sack, finds Cuevas for a big 36 yarder. Like we almost had him, but I guess our freshman defensive end with the giant biceps couldn't take him down. Third and eight, if we can just stop him here, that's gonna be another field goal. Jalen McMillan and the Huskies stop short. The kick looks good. He got it. Third and seven, halfback stretch. Turner just couldn't get enough. Third and eight. Let's keep up with the offense, get the defense in position and make a play. Broxton 
couldn't get McMillan in time. Third and one, and dropping back to pass. I'm there on the running back. He can't get, oh, I got off him and he found him. First and goal, they're going to the middle with a QB keeper, no good. Second and goal, I'm gonna call cover three because I thought it was a pass, but the option was actually the play. Third and 12, let's go outside. The pressure was coming in, Brent gets us close. Fourth and short is Phillip Rivers, go for it, middle name. I mean, he's gonna hand it off to Cozart first down. Big plays are needed to be made in a bowl game and big players need to step up. And that's exactly what's happening here. First and 10, why not let it fly or not? <laughs> sacked third and 19 gonna need a massive play here and brent martin i'm calling your name he caught it oh my goodness this is a sports center type play i can't make it up in and out of the defender's hands stays in bounds first down that play right there is a big swing for the sponges and king scores a touchdown touchdown ties it up but reality sets back in we have to play defense it's the huskies in their offense after all they are hurrying up to the line and i think they have a guy here with cam brown i was all over that that is the definition of unfortunate right there we were on it didn't matter anyways mcmillan just mossed us third and three running the china special outside to brent martin he's got it two dbs lined up on brent martin over there and uh, yeah, we're gonna stay clear of that as we do have a couple choices here, but the legs is our first option. Fourth and one, Philip doesn't even think about it. Says go for it, read option weak. We just get caught in the crossfire. It could be downhill from here as uh, Washington and their offense, wow, we get bailed out. The field goal was no good by Washington and Jimmy Kimmel just wants the sponges to hang around, I bet. Third and 13, I'm doing a little trickery here it would have worked we just had no time and then it was third and 12 qb keeper wow of all play calls that was filthy second and goal for the huskies they easily cash it in and now that it's the fourth quarter a little bit of urgency is needed as we fumble the ball second and goal he's dropping back he's looking for someone he's got a wide open tight end well it was close one second ago and then you blink and not so much worst case scenario for the la bowl is coming true but as defeating as this feels i can't help but to honestly just reminisce and be glad about what this season brought for the sponges like we were predicted to be dead last in the basement no one even thought we would get here and now look at us keeping it interesting i am proud of salona beach and all the work they've accomplished brent martin just doesn't really contest that one despite the loss i'm proud of salona beach proud of what this team was able to accomplish in year two another season in the books we are at the end of the year it's time to do our last bit of recruiting roster changes and get us all prepped and ready for year three and i can breathe a sigh of relief our job security is safe for now look back on the season 1500 passing yards seven touchdowns for brandon moore 670 for adam with two rushing wise a much better balanced attack this season the red shirt junior brent led us in receiving rock boston right behind freshman willie seven sacks 14 tfls that's encouraging michael boyd is trying to transfer let's see if i can convince him doesn't look like there's much we can say ucla michael boyd headed out graduation is here and a massive shout out and tribute to Cam Brown for leading the linebacking core over the last couple of years. Aaron Spell, Devontae Gene Lewis. Transfer request coming in from Mike Jennings, a freshman receiver, 69 overall from Illinois, Monterey Park, California. He is one with Sponge, I think will allow it. With 10,000 points to allocate in the offseason, Mark Coleman is priority number one. I'm giving this man the fattest NIL bag I can cook up. So here's the breakdown. I'm giving 70% of the pie to Mark Coleman, a quarter of the pie to Jim Hicks, in the last smidgen to Brent Burr hoping we can ensure all three of these guys let's move to signing day and fingers crossed we get those three players it's a christmas miracle we get everyone we were looking for what a step in the right direction the 62nd best recruiting class and you see that correctly a second prestige star wow we barely got jim hicks by 100 points every point mattered isn't it beautiful look at all these studs this is exciting to dream on mark coleman the big signee 76 overall 92 speed he's got a little two-way in him he can play some receiver as well who knows maybe we just found the next travis hunter and hold on vince manning an athlete 66 Seven overall has a little two-way in him as well because he is a 71 overall at running back but a high 70 
at DB. I'm going to put Vince Manning at strong safety, but let's not forget he can also run the Brock. Training results are in and Brent Martin in his redshirt senior season up to an 86 overall. Bembry also taking a big leap to 81. Brandon Moore, Adam Allen take the next step in the progression. Cozart and Turner, a formidable one-two punch. Receiving room well balanced here with a handful of seniors at the top. And then we got sophomores at the bottom four. Rock keeps rocking. This is our first time in a position where we have to cut players. More turnover, the offensive coordinator position. We are on our third OC in just the third year. Last year, we didn't register any recruits, but this year we can go ahead and register a few guys. Definitely want to save their eligibility for when they're ready to go. Just like Chris Thomas, Mike Jennings, McFadden will need their eligibility. All right, that concludes the off season of year two. And if you're soaking up this series, I guarantee you'll like a lot of other videos on my channel as well. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one.